Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of Foodie Pinoy. Today, we're going to cook a Filipino favorite dish, kare-kare. We will need 1.5 kilograms of pig's front knuckle or pata, 1 medium-sized onion, 5 cloves garlic, 7 pieces of string beans, 2 bunch of pet chai, Two pieces of medium-sized eggplant, soak in water to prevent from turning brown. Half of pork cube, three tablespoons of anato oil or archuete oil, and one cup peanut butter. This version of kare kare is easy to cook. Tenderizing the meat is the most time consuming part, which will take around 1 and a half hour to 2 hours. First, we're going to give the pork knuckle a blanch just to remove the impurities. Boil the pork knuckle for 10 minutes, then drain. Then fill the pot again with water. Submerge the pork knuckle and bring to boil. Simmer in low to medium heat until the meat is tender. Using a fork, try to prick the fat. This is not yet ready so we will continue to simmer for 30 minutes. We can now prepare the sauce because the pork knuckle is ready. Put anato oil in the pan. Then saute the garlic, followed by the onion. Continue to stir until it becomes aromatic. Then add the pork knuckle and give it a mix and let it sizzle for 1 minute or so. Add around 2 cups of pork broth and bring to boil. Then add the beef cube and peanut butter. Mix well to dissolve the peanut butter. Cover and simmer for another 30 minutes to infuse the flavors. Add some more pork broth if necessary. Remember, we are still going to add our veggies later. Give it a taste to check if we need to add more peanut butter. Add the eggplant and string beans and cook for 10 minutes. Once the eggplant and string beans are cooked, add the pet chai. Lastly, season with a bit of salt to enhance the taste. Here's our pork knuckle karkare recipe. Serve with shrimp paste to complete the dish. Enjoy! Hi guys! Did you like this recipe? Let us know in the comment section below. Hit like if you enjoyed this video. This will help us know that you are enjoying our content. If you haven't subscribed yet, click subscribe button and make sure to click also the bell icon so you'll get notified once we release new videos. Until next time, this is Foodie Pinoy saying goodbye and it's a wrap!